okay. will take you. But it does look like Fingal Bay is going to jump off in front and yeah. pop round. Yeah. See what Mr Humpty thinks yeah. about it. Eh? John, I uh, didn't get a chance to say good afternoon a moment or two ago. I'll do it now. All yours. Thank you, Angus. Yeah. A lot of interest, obviously, in Fingal Bay, wherever he goes. We wish him and the other two well here. Incidentally, the scrimmaging you look back on just a few moments ago in the first race is something that the stewards are having a look at and uh, we'll obviously report back as to their findings a little bit later on. Home run the winner there. But now, Fingal Bay time. About to come up into line. The three runners facing the starter here. And they're off. So this is the Harry Dunfield Memorial Novices Chase. Two and a half miles ahead of them and 15 fences to be taken. Fingal Bay striding on at the very early stages, jumping a little bit to his left there, but safe enough with Ashbourne Folly and Chartreux held up markedly in behind the two of them as they take the second. Ashbourne Folly was a little chancy there and Chartreux has been set alight here by the early jumping and it's all he can do, Paddy Brennan, just to keep him in behind Fingal Bay at the moment. They jump the third safely. Fingal Bay leading, Chartreux pulling his way all the time uh, and Paddy Brennan now just sitting directly in behind Fingal Bay to try and get this grey switched off. But Fingal Bay Again, jumping out to the left there. He's done that a couple of times in the early stages here, Fingal Bay. But he's three lengths clear of the free-going grey, Chartre in second place. And Ashbourne Folly is in third place, another six to seven lengths behind them. As they now just make their way, their leisurely way across to the side of the track, where they have three fences to take before the run down the back straight. So Fingal Bay leading up here from Chartre. Ashbourne Folly back in third position. These are young novices. Fingal Bay particularly exciting, of course. Just nice to see him stay straighter than he's doing in the early stages. And that was remarkably scary because he went right out to the left, Fingal Bay. He's done that twice now, three times as they come down towards the next fence. And again, he's off to the left every time, isn't he? Chartres staying behind him at the moment. And then... Ashbourne Folly and Fingal Bay being steadied right up and the other two are in no hurry to help him out and this is going from bad to worse for Fingal Bay he's only just got over that fence and it farcical scenes here because Richard Johnson is absolutely desperately keen to get a lead here just to help Fingal Bay out whose jumping has been really scary in these early stages out to the left every time. Will things improve? Now he has got a lead. So they head down the far side of the track. Not sure we were expecting quite so much drama here so early on. All three still stand, but there's a complete turnaround in the racing order now as the rank outsider Ashbourne Folly now strides on down the hill. Fingal Bay in second place and Chartres remaining right in behind Fingal Bay, a close third. It was fascinating, wasn't it, that Paddy Brennan just did not want to go by Fingal Bay, who in turn wanted a lead, and he at last gets that lead. But we'll see if it's worked, because Fingal Bay's um, jumping now under immense scrutiny as they turn down the far side of the track and head uphill towards the next four fences. Ashbourne Folly, then, coming in towards the next plain fence. Fingal Bay in second place, Chartreux in third. Heading then towards the next fence. Deep breaths all round. Ashbourne Folly from Fingal Bay. Chartreux in third. Isn't that amazing? Now he's been headed, Fingal Bay was absolutely dead straight there at that fence. And he's now pulling his way through alongside Ashbourne Folly, who himself jinks around at the next. Another really good jump from Fingal Bay. He was slightly out to the left, but he's regained the advantage here. And meanwhile, Chartreux stays directly in behind him. Next fence coming up, the third of them down the far side there, the open ditch, and Fingal Bay again was out to the left. And Chartreux and Ashbourne Folly are still right with him. And now the final one. Richard Johnson kicks Fingal Bay into this, but he goes left again. He's done that six or seven times. A couple of them were really, really scary, but he's now uh, heading out of the back straight with the other two in tow. So what a fascinating race, this Harry Duckfield Memorial Novices Chase has developed into with Fingal Bay leading still from Chartreux in second place. Ashbourne Folly is where he was 
three quarters of a mile ago now back in third place having briefly took it up down the back straight but class seemingly telling for him now and the other two are cantering away so Fingal Bay from Chartres who's still stalking him in second place the gap between them is a length and a half and Fingal Bay just nudged along slightly Chartres staying wisely to Fingal Bay's right hand side because Fingal Bay has been jumping left However, some straight jumps should still seal the prize for Fingal Bay. That, though, is not a given as they come towards the fourth last. Fingal Bay right over on the far side, led. Richard Johnson's allowed the horse to drift right over towards the far rail, which seems an eminently sensible move. He's run out! Fingal Bay has run out dramatically at three out. Crashes through the wing of the fence there, leaving Chartres clear at the second last. Ashbourne Follies just at the third last. So what drama? And it wasn't the biggest surprise necessarily that Fingal Bay did that, although it was a very dramatic watch at the time. We'll keep our fingers crossed he's OK. But meanwhile, the scene completely left for Chartres to come to the last fence and jump it well. And victory in the Harry Duckfield Memorial Novices Chase is now his. Ashbourne Folly coming to the final fence now for second place, and he's over safely. It is Chartres day. But for all the wrong reasons, Fingal Bay is the one who's going to make the headlines again. Well, what an incident-packed race.